Welcome to the Commonweal Theatre Company in Lanesboro. We are very proud to present the first show in our summer repertory season, Picasso at the La Gilles, a brilliant comedy from the wild and crazy mind of Steve Martin. Join us for the fun. It's an honor to have Zach Curtis working with the company. He currently serves as the artistic director of the Paul Bunyan Playhouse in Bemidji, so he has an awareness of the kinds of theater audiences that the Commonwealth might attract. Theirs is also a theater set in a relatively highly tourist-driven area, and his work is clean, it's impeccable. He knows jokes inside and out. From the time that I was probably six, seven, as soon as I could comprehend uh, what stand-up comedy was. The first introduction I ever had to it was Steve Martin. I was fascinated by this man who could play, you know, the jerk and still write for The New Yorker. I was in college when this play was written and it was everything I wanted it to be. It was everything I thought it would be. You know, when somebody says to you, it's a play about Einstein and Picasso and it's written by Steve Martin, you don't need any more than that. That's it. You, you pretty much win. This is the ultimate two guys walk into a bar set up. Very prolific artist, uh, co-founder of what is known as the Cubist movement, and basically a revolutionary when it comes to the art world. I think he brought into the world a whole new way of thinking and doing art, especially visual art. Uh, Picasso's Young Ladies of Avignon is what is considered the piece that launched the Cubist movement. And actually, he, he painted it back in 1906. He had just sort of finished his blue period, and he was moving into the rose period. But he, he broke them up. It's, it's, it's a, like a collage type. He, he, he took parts of the different women and, and moved them around. And just as Picasso changes the entire way the world looks at art, Einstein changes the entire way the world looks at things like movement, gravity, light, and sets the field for uh, quantum physics and for all kinds of theoretical discoveries moving forward. In this play, okay. uh, we see Einstein in a Parisian cafe where he may or may not have gone. We've talked about in rehearsal already how this is really a Cheers episode, only it features Pablo Picasso and Albert Einstein. Both of these men, you know, the, one of the, the innovators in art and one of the innovators in science, which are the two things that Martin loves to talk about the most and talks about at length in this play, then to add the visitor, who will remain nameless, but is, you know, who's, who's the biggest figure you can think of that would trump both of these men? And we're talking about Pablo Picasso and Albert Einstein. And, and he did it brilliantly. And I think that with us entering a new century, as we have, and all of the concerns that came around the year 2000, and not just Y2K, and things, but, but what will this new century and millennium bring us? Um, that's the same thing that these people are going through. This play, Picasso de la Panagile, captures the essence of what people feel about change, their fears about change, their hopes about change, and that's something that touches all of us. Your, your community, your friends, your family, your outer circle of people, the, the town you live in, the state you live in, the world you live in, is affected by everyone else. Even if you don't know them, they're a part of your community without you even ever crossing paths, but what you do affects them, and what they do affects you, and what one man or woman can do can change the entire world. We believe theater is about sharing stories with our community, with you. So whether you live here in Lanesboro or are visiting us, welcome to the Commonweal. Drama unfolds where the root river bends. 